Right, question number six, we've got some sequences question. There's a part B over the page as well. We've got to find out the next term in all of these. Well, what's happening here is it's going up by three, up by three, and it's going up by three every time. So the next number is obviously going to be 17. Nice easy mark. This one is going down by two each time. Okay, so if we're going to carry down by two again, we're going to be minus two. Another mark. This one, actually, although this goes up by two here, this goes up by four, this goes up by eight, well, it's actually doubling each time. Each time it's doubling. So it means that this one's going to be 32. And you've got to spot that. So don't just think they add or subtract each time because they can double. If we look at part B now, it says the number in the sequence increased by the same amount each time. Not like the third one, but the first two, where it goes up or down by the same amount. What are the missing numbers? Well, if we're going from 35 to 11, we've actually gone up 24 numbers. Okay? And you might think, well, 24 divided by 2, because there's two numbers missing, that's 12. Okay? So it's going to be 23. It doesn't work like that, though. Okay? Because it's gone up by 24, but there's actually 1, 2, three jumps okay so it's gone up by 24 even though there's two missing numbers there's actually three jumps first jump second jump third jump so we need to do 24 divided by 3 which gives us 8 and it means it's going up 8 each time so 8 onto this will give us 19 and then 8 onto that will give us 27 and let's just check if this was 20 19 and 27 here adding on 8 does take us to 35 so we can check we know we've got those two marks Okay, go back over and check you understand how to do this. This is a really common question they ask.